All right, we knew we were playing a really good team in the sense that they're, they've been to the NCAA tournament. Mike is an outstanding coach. Yeah, it was really nice to see him get that reception. That, that, that says a lot about uh, Indiana fans to, to do that, and as they knew that he did some really good things here. But he also brought in a really good team. And, and when that team gels and uh, they get used to playing together, he's got a lot of talent on that team. Guys like Biggs and Chris Thomas, I mean, those guys have done things. Um, and, and we knew that. We tried to get that across to our team. And uh, we've had an extremely long couple of weeks, and we're playing shorthanded and things like that, and I thought our guys continued to basically gut it out during the game. And, and it was important that we not lose momentum in the game. Uh, it was not a night for over substitutions. It was a night to, to continue to move the ball. I thought once we figured that out inside of the game, we got better with it. We still have not grasped just how good things are for us when we're moving the ball, you know, from side to side and, and, and playing out of the corners and really utilizing the whole court. But we will. We'll, we'll, we'll continue to figure that out. I thought Robert Johnson played outstanding tonight, and it really there really wasn't even a time I wanted to take him off the floor. I thought James did a good job in the first half. He wasn't as aggressive in getting to the glass or moving without the ball. It wasn't so much that they were taking him away, it's just that he, that he wasn't as aggressive, and I thought he was much more aggressive offensively in the second half. Uh, I thought Yogi played a good floor game. I think he's capable of playing an even better one. What I think he did, which is outstanding, is he had 13 deflections and Colin Hartman had 14. And that's a, Colin Hartman could go months without, I'm not sure he had 14 all year. And to have 14 in a game for us with his activity, doing the things that he's doing in 17 minutes is really, really uh, important. Uh, Hunter's continuing to learn. Uh, what he's capable of, we need him to continue to do all the little things that, that have made him the consistent player in practice in our early games uh, for us. Um, and there, there's a lot of room for improvement, but we knew we played a good team, and um, but we're happy with the win. Uh, go ahead. Zach? I guess just with Hunter, you talk about kind of getting him to just keep adding more of what he's doing in practice in games. How far has that come in a short period of time? I know you didn't get to see him in Canada. How far has that come? Well, we just want him to be consistent. You know, and, and, and what, what's consistent for Hunter is not to be measured by anybody. It's to be measured by what Hunter can do. He's, he's, and everybody just needs to, to, to let that happen, including me, and, and not push it because uh, he's playing a lot harder, longer, smarter, determined, all those things than he's ever done at Indiana. And, and you can see the improved footwork, you can see the jump shot. Um, he, he's got to continue to play with his head up. Uh, I like that he's confident that he can score. He's got to still continue to understand where the openings and the gaps are for him. And uh, he'll continue to improve, there's no doubt about it. Mike, uh, you mentioned James sort of playing more aggressive in the second half. Uh, did you maybe see a sense of urgency from him at halftime? Did you say anything? No, I don't think that's it at all. I think, I think it's, it's it, I think it was a really good job of understanding, you know, taking what the game was given to him, but at the same time, you know, be more aggressive and looking for cuts and opportunities to, you know, getting into getting into uh, uh, spaces where we're creating two on ones on the backside. There was one time in the first half where Yogi had it and he came up rather than staying in the corner, which would have created a quick two on one. It's all learning parts. It's it's James can play without the ball in his hands. He just hasn't figured out how good he can be without the ball in his hands. And I think when you what you saw in the second half is him really getting free, getting into good space. Uh, footwork being down and, and, and looking for his shot. And he also made some good cuts that, where he didn't get the ball. But, but that's the way our team has got to be. We have numerous guys that can make shots and plays. And the more that it reverses and the more that it goes through the paint and the more that we read how we're being played, uh, is it time to back cut? We missed, we didn't have any back cuts in the first half. We probably missed four opportunities in the second half for back cuts. I know we got a couple. But that's something that we were working hard at emphasizing in the last couple of days. We just need experience. You know, we just need game experience and, and going through it. And uh, he's a great example of that. But obviously he can, he can score in bunches. And when he gets even better at moving without the ball, and, and um, uh, it, we had a whole package of things to go to screen-wise tonight, but we were getting it into the paint. You know, so we're getting the free looks. You know, you go to the screens maybe when you're not getting the free looks. And uh, sometimes we, we, we inhibited our own path by, by dribbling it in one area rather than continuing to attack through the paint. And James's improvement of attacking through the paint improved in the second half as well. And then he was the beneficiary of getting some shots on reversals because of that. Mike? 
Robert Johnson seems to have just an unusual maturity for freshman. He doesn't rush, he rush shots like a lot of young kids do. Is that part of his personality? That's oh, I think so. Through? Yeah, I think so. And I think it's it's it, it, this whole team right now. It's about never getting ahead of themselves, and and they practice hard. He's very serious minded, as is James, as is Max. Max just didn't have a great night, uh, in the sense that he wasn't as physical and as aggressive as he needed to be from 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 the start. And and he'll grow. He'll grow with that. They'll all grow with that. And um, and tonight just wasn't one of those nights where we were going to sit there and work through things. You know, this team with too much respect for that team, that they could score in bunches. And um, we just needed to do what we needed to do to win the game. But, but Robert needed to be on the floor. Uh, he makes a lot of things happen. I think a great example tonight, we were trying to get the third foul at number one, and we called an action. And he got it isolated, and he took it. And he had a path to the rim, but he also had a wide open player in the corner, and he made the pass. I mean, that, that's a maturity. Uh, for a guy that scored a lot of points in high school, that's a tremendous maturity to give the ball up that way. So so he and James have, are just continuing to uh, improve all the time because how much time they spend at it. We're asking a lot of them. They're playing an awful lot of minutes early on in this season. And uh, we're spending a lot of time together. So I, I can't stress enough. The last couple of weeks, it, you know, they, they, uh, they uh, these, these kids have gone through a lot. And, 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 and then the games come. And you would think that would be the freedom of movement and boy let's let's go and it's another you know, carrying a lot and we've just got to continue to learn to to process that and 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 um, and continue to do the simple things really well and Rob and James are two guys that are really cap capable of doing the simple things really well. Sam yeah, we talked about Hunter and his blocks but Colin Hartman had three. Yeah, that, Colin's a basketball player that's what we recruited he, he really is he's a basketball player he's He's playing numerous positions for us, and um, he's still not all the way back health-wise. We still have some limitations with him in practice, but uh, he's, he's staking his claim. I mean, he's out there, and, and, um, and that's what you want. I mean, he's, he's a great example of a guy, and I've talked about how much better he's gotten and how hard he worked in his rehab, but he just goes out there and does what it takes to win the game. And, and it's funny that you know some of the guys from 2002 win the building and knowing that Mike coached that team and Kyle Hornsby talked to our team yesterday. It was really good. Dr. Kyle Hornsby, I should say. And, and he had some great parallels you know, of, of the way they started and, and all these different things. But everybody really, really had to learn and accept their role and know that their role was really important. And a lot of times when guys <coughs> figure that out, the earlier the better, the, boy, the more their role expands. And I think that's... that's Excuse me, that's what Collins had. Yeah, but, you know, Hunter had five more than 26 minutes tonight, but I know, you know, total rebounds isn't the best indicative of rebounding performance because sometimes he's clearing out the space and other guys are jumping in to get those boards. So when you look at the game to take tomorrow and the stat sheet tomorrow, what are some things you look to evaluate if a player had a good rebounding performance? How quick he was to the ball. Uh, that's a great question. Great question because, again, it's so much more than just the numbers. It's it's. It's uh, one thing he's doing right now. There's a couple of things we've got to work with him on, technique-wise. And, um, and that's something that, that, that I think we can fix over a little bit of period of time. But, but it's how quick he's getting to the board, um, how quick he's in his post-up. You know, short space quickness is such a big thing. And sometimes he gets a little spread out and wide because he's long. And we want him to play long. But we don't really want his feet spread out, OK? And I think sometimes that's what's happening to him a little bit in his post moves and things like that. He's got to compact his stance a little more. But at the same time, you want a guy that can spread out and get range rebounds and block shots like he's doing. So it's truly a work in progress with him getting more offensive boards, with him getting more opportunities to score. And then defensive rebounding, he's got to make sure, especially with what we have coming in here Thursday night, that he hits and then goes and releases and gets the ball. So short space quickness is probably the biggest thing. And, and what's his initial movement like when the shot goes up? And is he reading how he's being, uh, you know, where his man is uh, on the rebounding? And is he reading how he's being played on the offensive glass? Andy, with Tim only playing one minute and Jeremiah not playing at all, <clears throat> you have three guys coming back for Thursday. What will determine who plays and who doesn't and how he kind of use your full base? Uh, practice. Practice will determine that. And, and, um, and um, there's, really no, there's really no deep thought process behind that. There was no hidden meaning behind it. Uh, tonight we did what we needed to do to win the game, and we won it.
Ken, last what did you like or not like about your team's defensive effort tonight? I got a bunch of film. I thought we had a lot of deflections. I thought we got better. We're still giving up too much penetration uh, into the lane. Our transition defense was not as good as it needed to be. And uh, we weren't getting the ball picked up early enough. We had some, uh, um, we, 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 we haven't spent a lot of time on switching everything. And I think that showed. You know, at one point we were playing five wings. And, and, and so we just got to get better at those type of things. And then we will over the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you. Thanks.